What's up, Jig Heads? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here with my buddy Dylan from DME Fishing, and we are looking for some late December crappie today. Stick around for the action. There's one. That's a nice one. Heck yeah. That makes number 10. Only need five more. And we got ourselves a late December limit. Yeah, this power plant lake's about an hour, a little over an hour from my house, but it's the only power plant lake in Illinois that pumps warm water the whole winter through. So it gets to be late December, January, February, and I just grit my teeth and make the drive every morning. Well, not every morning, but you know what I'm saying, don't you? All right, well, three fish on the stringer, nothing on the video. That's all right, there's a good one. I'd say we're gonna get on some fish down here today, guys. All right guys, so what we got going on down here, we're fishing a power plant lake today. Warm water discharge is maybe about a mile on down that way. We got a east wind that's pushing that warm water straight down at us. And we're just fishing these rocks along here, maybe about four foot deep under a float. And I downsized today. I got a little one inch brush baby from brush pile jigs on a 48 ounce jig head. Doing a little double jig rig, so hopefully we may, might hook up on a double yet today, we'll see. With this wind coming in, you don't really have to do much with your jig. Just keep up with your slack in your line. You don't have to jig it much. Wind kind of does all the action for you. I need to put my gloves back on though. It's like 27 degrees out here this morning, so it's just a little bit chilly. I believe that's the first cast I ain't caught a fish. Yeah. So that ain't too shabby. Take that action all day long. All right, let's get these gloves back on. Dylan, why'd you let me be stubborn this morning and go to 48, huh? I don't know. I was fishing deep enough this morning, I don't think. There's one. Man, oh man, and every fish so far this morning, guys, has been a keeper. We'll take that. All right. Hello. She got a begging. Yeah. I mean, every single one of them's like nine and a half to ten. Well, I tell you what we do, Dylan. We catch our limit here, yeah. and then we go set up for some catfish. Right? I mean, I just went from zero to five crappie in all of about 10 minutes. we go and I tied Dylan downsizing bait guys it's a great idea when the weather gets real cold in the winter time these fish get a little lazy 
and they don't like to chase big baits so going with that little one inch brush baby it gets the results man check them out yep 10 inch fish I almost need an assistant down here to put my fish on the stringer so I can keep catching them. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can pop us another one. Yeah. Cold weather is a lot easier to take when you're staying busy catching fish. Ain't no doubt about that. I got more of these brush babies too, so if you decide you want some of them, get in my box there. You're welcome to them. Here we go. Oh, missed him. He smoked it too. <laughs> yeah. He smoked it. He didn't even mess around. There, I just missed him. Sometimes these bites can be pretty subtle down here too, guys. So what you're looking for is just any unnatural movement in your float. If it kicks sideways or just barely twitches in the water, don't hesitate to give it a hook set. Chances are you got a fish on one of your jigs. That's a good one too, guys. Yes, sir. Got us a white crappie on that one. Got it right in the roof of the mouth. There we go. Yep. Ten inches all day. Another quick pro tip, guys. Pro tip. Right, Dylan? Yeah. Pro tip. Fishing in these cold temperatures, you're going to get ice in them eyelets. Dip your rod tip in the water, and that'll clear those eyelets for you. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you're going to end up with all kinds of line twists and end up with a mess on your hand. I don't think he makes the cut. Yep. If I can get him in, too busy messing around. There's another one. Have you hit the bottom jig every time? No, I've been catching them on the top and the bottom. Man, this one here's got it right in the top of the mouth that I can't seem to get to. Wasting time getting a hook out instead of catching fish. Get out of his mouth. Thank you. What's that? Yep, that's another keeper.
right in my face. There's one. That's a nice one. Heck yeah. Small baits, guys. Get it done in the winter time, even when you're on open water. You're not getting hit on those two inch baits, downsized to a little one inch. You can definitely find some fish. Being at a power plant lake definitely helps. But I think downsizing that bait is definitely what's keeping some fish going on the stringer this morning. All right, jig heads, I think we're going to wrap this one up. Man, action was hot and heavy the first 30 minutes of being down here. Most of the fish we caught today came in that first short window. But uh, definitely check out smaller baits. I think it's going to increase your success rate out in the wintertime when water temperatures are cold. Appreciate you guys watching. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And remember, folks, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I'll see you on the next one.